All aboard! That sound brings back childhood memories for so many in mid-Michigan. All aboard the Junction Valley Railroad. But for Denise Stanger, this train ride is more than just a fun summer activity. It's her family's legacy. I never really made a whole lot of money, but it was my father-in-law's hobby, his dream, his passion, and the family just did it. You know, this, this is what our life was, and we did it. Stanger's father-in-law passed away a couple years ago, and without him, his life's passion didn't bring enough revenue to stay open another year. So she made the decision that this summer will be the last Last season for train rides, a thought that's hard for Stanger to come to terms with. That says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> the railroad opened in 1982, and Stanger says it's the largest quarter-sized railroad on earth. You know, but we have people from everywhere that have coming for years. We have one family from Flint. They come out every Father's Day. They've been coming for 25 years, you know, and I had to say goodbye to that this year, and it was tough. But for many, riding this train is bittersweet, knowing this mid-Michigan icon is coming to an end. And they're smiling pretty big, too. Barry Bush brought his three young children to Junction Valley to take a ride before the railroad shuts down. I'm sad to find out that it's the last season, so, but we're, we're, uh, we're having a blast today anyhow. You know, you do this for seven days a week for 35 years. <laughs> Stanger says she doesn't have plans to sell the family business, just thankful for all the people who turned Junction Valley Railroad into a local landmark. So we'll get out here with the grandkids and, you know, this is a wonderful backyard for them to have, but um, it's, it's time to move on and do something for our family, which we've never been able to do. In Bridgeport, Elena Holland, WNEM TV5.